the large festival grounds area at the corner of Sahara and Las Vegas Boulevard. And so far, the Rock and Rio Festival and also the ACM Party for a Cause concert has used this site. But according to John Castellamides from the Las Vegas Sun, there's no word if those two particular festivals are coming back, which I thought was the purpose of the grounds, right? You're right twice over, Dana. Okay. That's, that's exactly what's going on. We, um, what we can say about the Las Vegas Festival grounds, that's 50 acres on the corner of Sahara and the Las Vegas Strip, mm -hmm. is that there's nothing at this moment booked for that site. Wow. And, and that is, that is a, a very, uh, it makes a lot of people nervous. That's an unsettling yeah. reality. What has happened? First, in the case of Rock and Rio, uh, Rock and Rio came to Las Vegas last year, as you remember, mm -hmm. bracketed two weekends with uh, rock and pop. There it is. It was a spectacle. Uh, we had all kinds of uh, cultural, uh, uh, culturally affiliated program, a lot of programming, a lot of great music, a lot of superstars, a lot of smaller acts. Mm -hmm. uh, it was well received artistically, I think. I think that uh, my own experience out there was great. It also lost upwards of 28, maybe up to 30 million dollars last year, which was far exceeded any of the uh, lowest expectations of Rock and Rio organizers and the people at MGM Resorts. Mm -hmm. Consequently, Rock and Rio has gone to Lisbon as expected. They performed it in Lisbon this year. Does great. Right. We don't have an announcement that Rock and Rio 2017 is going to come back to Las Vegas, which is making people in Las Vegas a little bit nervous because by now you should have a save the date. Yeah. You should have some acts announced. You should be ready, you know, you should be gearing up your marketing campaign. We won't know until the end of the month probably uh, wh whether or not Rock and Rio returns. I've heard they want to come. They keep saying they want mm. to come. People in Las Vegas say, Let's do it. Let's yeah. let's finalize it. And we have an important meeting that's going to happen next week with Chris Baldezon, who books all the events for MGM Resorts, is going to Nashville for a music festival next week. Okay. Rock and Rio officials are going to be at that festival. And they're going to meet and come up with something once and for all to tell us if this is going to come back. Yeah, because I kind of thought that was the agreement. I kind of remember at the beginning I was exactly. interviewing some of the organizers, and they were like, yeah, it, we'll be back in two years. <laughs> you talked to Robert Medina, the founder, Roberta, his daughter, who's the president of the organization, mm -hmm. Luis Justo, who does all, all their marketing. They all have said that. They said that to me in email recently. Yeah, yeah, our plan is to come back to Las Vegas. And I said, well, let's get some dates down. Let's let's make an announcement. Right. Let's, let's do this like yeah. we normally do. And it's always fallen short of that. When we get back from Lisbon, they say, you know, mm -hmm. when we're done with that. And and Chris Baldazon has said, uh, who do, who's in charge of booking MGM facilities, indoor and outdoor, says, we are behind the eight ball. Okay. We need to get this done. So. All right, let's talk about another big uh, kind of breaking news moment last night when it was announced that Jersey Boys is leaving the Paris. They've been there for, what, eight years They've now? They've been in Las Vegas for eight and the last four at Paris. They started at Palazzo mm -hmm. and opened uh, in, in uh, the spring of 2008 there. There's uh, the original cast yeah, of Rick Fonio yeah. and Eric Bergen, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, who was in the movie. And uh, I can do this move, by the way. Yeah, I bet you can. Uh, yeah, you know <laughs> I that. I think I can, too. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Jersey Boys has been one of our best shows, yeah. uh, no matter what measure you use, ever since it got to town. It, it opened to great uh, fanfare with uh, uh, Frankie Valli and, and Bob Gaudio as part of the, the team that brought it to Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. It moved to Paris, Las Vegas, where it's been very popular. They've adjusted. This is how you know a show is struggling financially. They've adjusted their schedule a little right. bit from eight shows to six shows to, to keep the houses robust. But they were told last night by Dodgers Theatre the production company that their last show was going to be September 18th, okay. and that happened at about. Uh, was nine. it shocking? Did you talk to anyone? You, you know, I, I feel this. Yeah. Everybody says this is showbiz. Yeah. You're not shocked in general when yeah. this happens. We've heard some word about uh, Jersey Boys being in trouble for quite a while, right, actually. Right. Some murmurs out there, mm -hmm. and I was in contact with Keith Thompson, the music director, and the original cast, and Travis Clower and mm -hmm. Graham Fenton, who toggled the Frankie role, and they're like, it's. Startling, it's stunning, but we're going to be fine. And mm -hmm. it's everybody's very melancholy. But as Scott Zeiger once said, who ran Bass Entertainment, shows close. Yeah, all shows close. Right. And this is one of them. <laughs> this is one of them. Well, we'll be sad to see it go. It's been a good yeah. production, obviously um, around the world as well. It is. It's a worldwide brand, no if doubt. If you want to read John Katz's column, you can go to the Las Vegas Sun. It's always online, and this is the one of the articles that we were talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, cover of the Sunday this week. Cover of mm -hmm. the Sunday this week. Thanks, John, for joining us. Thanks for having me. Stay with us.